Hello, I am back with a new video here. I'm, I am going to show you uh, my new sprite importer that I made for the Forgotten Planet. This is the map builder. Uh, I'm going to rename this to uh, the world creator later on. Anyway, I'm going to click on place unit and then we have unit type 0. If I go to uh, minus 1, I cannot create a unit because we can't have a unit in slot zero, so in slot minus one, so we select slot zero and we click create unit. This reads from a directory where I place all the sprites I want to have in the game. So we select shell biter here. Now we get to set the sprite properties for this sprite. As you can see, the image is displayed here with all the sprites in it. So actually, we just need to see a few of them to get the right size. This one is 62 pixels by 44 pixels. There is 10 sprites per line and 35 sprites all together in the image. And as you can see this image is using grid. So we click Imi image has grid. This box here shows you how much of the sprite that will be clipped from the image. So, so if you like go with 75 here you can see oh that's too much so I have to decrease it. You also get a small sprite preview here of what uh, the size of one sprite is, so we change this back to 62, which is the correct uh, the correct size, and we click OK. This is the animation <coughs> screen that we are taking to, and we can select the speed of the enemy here. This will be moved by two pixels for per frame that it walks with, and we can set how much life this we want this little critter to have, and we can set like eight. Uh, you can also change the alpha of the image, say if we want to have a more transparent one, but we will go with uh, full transparency this time. Uh, <coughs> right now we have the move left animation selected down here, so we, we will create a move left animation like this. I'm going to increase the animation del delay to 80 milliseconds you can see you have the animation here so I can just continue to add different sprites and it will look really weird right now because it will go through those anyway so we just delete the frames we don't want like that and we select move right like this so you can see you have the animation up there attack left we can just start with selecting all the frames very slow here so you can see what happens in the corner here like that. And the same with the right attack animation like this. I want to turn left, so this is probably very boring for you because I'm just creating the animations here for the critter. And turn right we will have <coughs> Something like that, that looks more better than this one, so we will delete the frames and create a new one. Like that, and die left. See the animation there, so... there we have a nice dying animation there to the left and we can do the one to the right as well like this uh, taking damage left and taking damage right and we can have either, either left and either right as well like that Okay, sorry for uh, having you to watch some boring animations that I create here. So, anyway, we click OK, and here we get <coughs> the next screen, which is uh, to select the AI of the creep, uh, of the enemy. So, just click this is a creep. This unit will walk, creep, left, right, attack when the player is close. So, we click OK. 
we have now imported the sprite into the game. So right now I, I can go to the next type, which is type one. So it's just, it's, an, it's next slot. So we can just create the unit. This is a flying blade, a very simple enemy with this is uh, just two frames like that. Okay, move left and move right. We can have either left and either right as well like that. Life one speed, perhaps three. Click OK. This is a floater. This unit will float left and right between two walls. Needed animation is move, die, and damage. But we don't have to do all of these things now because I'm just showing you. Anyway, now we need to get to select the current unit. This is just this is current unit zero. So if I go to type zero one there, this unit will not be placed anywhere. You can't place it. But if I select the Shell by that we <coughs> that we put into the game just earlier. We can just click OK and we can place it anywhere on the map. So if we take the next unit, unit one, we can perhaps want to put the, one of the flying blades on the screen like that. So we can just load a map here for you, and we can place a few enemies around here. We already have a, had an enemy placed there. And one there on the map earlier as well. So, in a way, this is a small demo map that I made earlier. Okay, like that. And we can place well up to 99 enemies on one map, and you probably won't need that. So. like that and that's about it and I, well, I can also do like this I can go to create unit oh sorry despite animation click OK and here I can if I click the save button here we'll be, we'll be able to save the units that I've created so right now I have saved the unit file that was so the only thing that I, that I missed to show you anyway I hope you haven't been bored to death with the <laughs> with this video but I'm pretty much not the best English speaker in the world, but probably you have understood what I wanted to tell you here. I hope you will uh, continue to follow my blog, and uh, until the next time I post.